Hello, everybody. Welcome to back to the All Skills uh, tournament, Hollow tournament. Here we have a race between Kali and Mudpip. It should be a good one. Um, Mudpip, I'm not sure if they've got a submitted time yet. Uh, they've had a few races, but they have not uh, submitted one, I don't believe. Kali has, I believe, a Sodar? 58 something, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, on leaderboard, she has a 58. Yeah. Got a high 58, like a 58, 40 something. Mm hmm. Yeah, so uh, I'm not entirely sure where a Mud Pip skill is, uh, but it should be a good race. It's had a 56 for a while, from what I hear. Interesting, interesting. Thank you, Savi. Yeah, this should be a fun one then. Let's see, uh, oh, yep, fifty-eight forty-six, very close. <laughs> Dang. Okay, I think uh, I'll make sure the runners are ready, and when they said they are, I'll count them down. Yep, sounds good. I sent them off. There's going to be a bit of a delay uh, with the restream, but once that's through, we'll be see you and go. Ollie did hop into my stream earlier saying that she was hoping she would get a PB right before the race started, so Ooh. maybe she has like a 57 or 56 now. Who knows? Well, maybe we'll see the PB now. Maybe that'd be exciting. <laughs> that could also happen. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck to both the racers. Indeed. Good luck to both the racers. There's Kali. Ego should be coming. There he is. All right. There's not a whole lot to talk about in the early parts of the run, especially if you've um, seen it before. Uh, we're just making our way through King's Pass and over to uh, Crossroads to get our first spell in the game so we can move forward and get more abilities, and as the run implies, all the skills before completing the game. There's a few interesting tricks, like this Ventry Pogo that Kali just did, but it's pretty basic movement until later. Uh, yeah, pretty Soft much just from Kali. jump and walk. <laughs> <laughs> game of the game. Quite exciting. <laughs> uh, like Kali just paused here, yeah, to get the resync. Hard fall and mud pip. So that's a soft fall for Kali and a hard fall for mud pip. It's very interesting. It looked like mud pip just straight up went for the RNG soft fall. Mm -hmm. Which is quicker if you do get the so soft fall. <laughs> yeah. If you don't get it, it loses quite a bit of time though. Yeah. Probably a little bit ahead coming out. Still, a 54 out of the wall there is a good time. Anything over that starts to get a little questionable, but 54 is good. Now they're just gonna hop, hop, hop right into the well. Here's the infamous Gruz drop. See how many hits the runners are going to take? None Ooh. from Kali. Very nice. 
Ooh, oh, middle okay. drop. <laughs> Interesting. Also, no right. hits, though. So, not bad. So, middle drop actually saves uh, a little bit of time. It's just a little bit riskier because if you get hit once, it's very likely you're going to get hit a second time. Hmm, I see. Kali gets hit on the double spike and only hits one of them. Unfortunate. Let's see if it is unfortunate. Oh, just misses the double spike. You ever get those double spikes where you're, you're sure it should hit both of them, but it just doesn't? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not fun. Probably getting hit again. That's very yeah. unfortunate. Mudpip is a tad bit behind right now, but honestly, his movement is slightly more clean than Kali, I would say. Not yeah, by a huge like margin. It. Definitely bumping into walls a lot less than Kali. Mm -hmm. The timers are fairly synced, though, which is nice. Oh, yeah. Man. Did Kali get the statue pogo? I didn't see. Uh, no, they both just no, kind of yeah. jumped on the little platform and then pogoed the bench fly. Nice. Hey, hey, it works. I think Kali did get hit again, though. <laughs> oh, no. Not too it's much okay. of a big deal. During this uh, little fight up here, we have plenty of time to heal. Definitely. Unless you, you know, like, die, then not so great. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what feels worse. Getting in here with one health or respawning at uh, Derma. Oh, I guess it kind of answers itself, but. <laughs> <laughs> so here we're going to do one cycle of the false knight, then we're going to walk over to this wall here, wait till he throws his tantrum, and then we're going to smack the wall a few times, getting us early access out of the false knight fight. An intended skip made by the devs, and we're going to take full advantage of it. We don't need to kill that guy. Coming to Vengeful Spirit here. Let's see. It's looking like a potential 34. Three minutes, 42 for Kali? Yeah, about a 42. For Muppet, 44? 43? 44. Wow, that's some lag. <laughs> that was interesting. <laughs> Always feels bad. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, they're roughly about right tied right now. Kali looks a little ahead, but uh, not just visually, I think. Yeah, yeah. Timers are a little desynced. Mm-hmm. Here we're coming up to uh, what is also infamous, the boulder. Uh, I believe the record for the tournament is an 11 spit. Let's hope neither of these runners get that. It's always frustrating. We'll count them down as they come. I think we got that all the way back in round two, right? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. It was fairly early. Kali, oh, they incredible. both get one spit. Lucky, lucky. Not a bad choice. Don't want to die in green path. <laughs> no, definitely not. For me, the audio and video is a little desynced. I hope that's not for stream as well, and it's just a Discord error. Uh, still quite annoying, I must say. Yeah, I can't tell either. Hopefully it should be fine. Mm -hmm. it looks like Mudpip had a lot better soul collection, having full... I mean, it's not... You should be hunting for full soul, but if it comes to you, it's never unwanted. Yeah. Oh, Kali not getting to turn around for the fireball skip. Oof. 
if Muppet can get it, dot no. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that yeah that. Oh wait, no, never mind. Muppet is still behind. If you uh, if you just happen to have six soul going into that fireball skip, you can pretty much you can shoot them both to the left and still make it. It's very it's very free. <laughs> <laughs> Quite funny. That is silly. I like it. Well, we'll consider that a win in Muppet's book, still making the uh, fireball skip. Uh, we'll see what happens when we come to the second one here, though, as we'll see Kali doing right now. Oh, it did not turn around. Okay, that's fine. Mudpip does get it, though. Mud yeah, Mudpip does get it. That's gonna for sure put Mudpip Oh, back no! Oh, struggling with the squit. I mean, understandable if you, uh, if you're Get good at fireball room. skips. Yeah. That's unfortunate. If you're good at fireball skips, you, you never really know how to deal with the squits, so. That's yeah, actually going to put uh, Kali at a fairly decent deficit. Struggling a little bit, but Mudpip does make the third fireball skip. And is on his way. Oh, and then he gets stuck. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay, now now he might. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can, can do a call it. Yay, oh, there we go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, Kali's uh, community has dubbed that split Bob. Bob, so, interesting. Effing Bob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, looks like Mudpip got the two fireballs on the Moss Knight there, which is very good. Ooh, Kali double fireballing left, unable to make the third fireball skip. This is unfortunate. Oh, she doesn't go for the other skip. The man pogo. Yeah. Probably not very practiced. Fair enough, though. Yeah, true. Not a great spot to be to be in this beginning in the race. Mm hmm Mudpip seemingly getting the bad cycle with the Moss Knights, but still makes decent work of it. He's got a little bit of time to spare anyway. Kali happened to do three fireballs, the Moss Knight refusing to jump back, unlike what Mudpip got. And here comes my pit to Hornet one. Suppose since Mudpip's in the lead, we can switch to his audio. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, it's a little louder. And he's got music playing. That was, uh, yeah, eight minutes, 30 seconds-ish. Sub 9, I think, is acceptable in a race setting. Yep. Yeah, I agree. It was a 42, I believe? I don't quite remember. That's Either what it way, was like. 42, 44, I think. Looking about, I'd say, 30 to 40 seconds ahead of Kali right now. Yeah. Bob was just not being nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. The uh, Apparently the audio is actually lagging for stream as well. That's the stream in general. Is that confirmed from Mudpip or is it uh, speed gaming? I'm not sure. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> hmm. uh, it looked like Kali got that at 22, so yeah, roughly 40 seconds behind. Mudpip is just falling down into wastes right here. I mean, the, the audio is desync for us. It has been desync since the very start. Um, but 
I was thinking that it's just for us and not for stream. I don't know if there is a potential fix for that. Just game audio. Hopefully Speed Gaming can get it sorted out then. Yeah. Anyway, um, we've glossed over a bit of the movement. Uh, Kali's going to drop down and hope we don't see any acid dunks here. Ooh. Right. Well, Mudpip is going to farm a bit of Geo Rocks here that we need, and then afterwards, going to try to do an E Pogo, or Explosion Pogo as it's called. Um. Some some racers have struggled with this trick. Let's see how these ex uh, these two execute. Very left. Oh wow! I haven't seen that one before. That's very interesting. Yeah, I believe that's the uh, that's the easiest strat to do, but it is also the slowest. I see. Understandable. Not quite getting the setup for. Oh, makes it through though. Okay. Oh, makes good enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And if you've missed it, uh, Kali will soon be coming up to the Epogo here after getting these Geo. I believe she actually does it the same way. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right. Ooh. Oh, no. This is the first attempt. Oh no. Oh jeez. Oh, yeah. That's a bit left, isn't it? Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, you there got it. Go. All right, here we go. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe she'll execute Mantis Pogo a little better than Mudpip, but Mudpip is also on his way, collecting a bit of salt to fight Grudgebunther. We'll see that in a second. Kali's Mantis Pogo is going to come up here first, though. Oh, Mantis are being kind of bullies there. Uh, oh, you no! Oh, no. Uh, electing to go around? Understandable. Luck is just not on Kali's side so far. No. I wonder if she's nervous. It definitely could be it. There's a whole lot of different setups for Epogo. Um, here's Mudpip with Dry's Mother. Very, very quick execution, actually. I don't think you could have a quicker Grez mother than that. Uh, yeah, um, for chat, the the most common way to do e-pogo is to pogo on the actual uh, spore, or the, like, the ball that pops up, and then the explosion after it explodes. Uh, the way the runners did it there, they just pogoed the explosion twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not to mention the cleanup that uh, Mudpip got was very, well, quick as well. Uh, that, that was just a really good Grez Mother fight. <laughs> and here we will be seeing an intentional death to be able to get our shade. So, taking this damage on purpose. Remember to equip Sean, it's doing good. And then gonna dash over, hop, and get to the wall, and then hop up. Perfect. And if you missed it, Kali will be doing the same thing, but first she is going to come and fight Grasmother here. Ooh, misses that third uh, Vengeful Spirit. That's gonna be quite slow. Oh, actually, did she miss? Huh, I guess not. 
Oh, it was still pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it, she thought she was going to take like three or four more uh, nails to defeat it. Oh, yeah, no, she definitely didn't miss. She had full soul. Never mind, never mind. Still a very good Grezmiller fight and cleanup. And here we're just gonna do some final geo collection on our way down to King Station. We need 800 to be able to get uh, Dash Lash. Uh, and there's a few places we got it, like the Geo Rocks earlier and a few mobs here. Boom. And then one more place with the Gorgeous Husk. Kali also does a Clip Shaman Stone. Good, good. And let's see if they can execute the Shade da or sorry, Shade Skip. There we go. Easy, Very nice. Easy. And yes, as Kali hops across Blue Lake, Mudpip is on his way to Gorgeous Husk or Gold Boy. There's a few different names, uh, but Gorgeous Husk is the official name. And we're gonna get us uh, almost all the Geo we need here. Gold Boy does in fact drop 420. Nice. Very nice. Uh, next up, we're going to farm a couple rows of hoppers on our way to Dash Slash. Uh, each row gives us a maximum of, I think, 47. So you want at least 706, I think, going into this split. Yeah, I think at a minimum that's correct. Muppets got more than enough. Probably still gonna have to farm uh, both waves of hoppers, but still very, very uh, efficient. And if you really liked, uh... Sorry, I lost my train of thought. If you like Gold Boy, uh, here comes Kali doing it again as Mudpip farms the hoppers. Oh, it's 48. Okay, so you only need 704. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, missing a hopper. Unfortunate. Manages to recover, it looks like, though. Gets all the geo. 21, more than enough. Perfect amount. Oh, please don't die. <laughs> yeah, that's scary. Okay. Alright, we're okay. good. Makes a thrill. Very short split, but it's pretty easy to take a little bit of damage. Yeah, with the aspids in the way, plus hoppers sometimes popping a little unpredictably. Oh, Kali's entering with more than enough Geo. <laughs> 740. That is... Oh, yeah. He is Must very rich. A little extra somewhere that we missed? Or just got very lucky with the drops? Uh, yeah, I think she must have stopped somewhere to farm. Mm-hmm. Not sure where. But, good to have. Yep. Yeah, we, we need uh, a little more Geo. Uh, gonna buy King Station on the way out after getting Desolate Dive. I think that's right. Yes, that is right. Yes. Yeah. I was confused to suddenly darken Desolate Dive, but hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
They're both just DD in my book. Anyway, Kali here getting Dash Lash. We're gonna need it for a few lever skips coming up into Soul Sanctum here. Uh, I guess technically the first one, it's not really a skip, but the first one will be coming up in a couple rooms here from what Mud Pip is doing. However, uh, the first lever skip will be right here. Climb the wall up and then smack. Dumb curse. Got it that time. Smack the invisible lever there. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, sentries could be real bullies here. Does it make it through though, it looks like. Taking two health is pretty scary. We won't be able to heal for a little bit, and we have all the entirety of Sanctum entering and leaving, not to mention a couple of bosses. Well, a mini boss and a boss, I guess. Yeah, you definitely don't want to take a lot of damage at the beginning of the split. Kali really greeting out for the soul there. I'm not sure how worth it that is, but... I guess wanted to heal. Understandable. Wait, but she probably took... Eh, any, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ooh. Clean one hit, or double uh, Vengeful Spirit from Mud Pip there. Call the going for the lever skip, trying her best not to take any damage. Sentries are all in the way here. Has oh, I just one fireball. Hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That is absolutely not what you want to see. Sentries going into the dark room is just unfortunate. Looks like she's still having oh. a lot of trouble. That's, yeah, she's lost. Oh no. Okay, there she goes. Thankfully, you can still see your, your nail hits in the dark, so you can kind of use them to navigate mm -hmm. your way around by hitting the wall. Probably being really safe here, collecting all the souls she can, wanting to stay high on health, high on soul. It's understandable. Muppip looking like an A17 minute, uh, eventual, or sorry, Shade Soul. Quite a bit ahead of Kali now. Ooh, oh, one trip soul. Gets a double on that one, however. The Almost Soul Master dead, yeah. is four Shade Soul hits and four Nail hits, if I recall correctly. Or no. Yes, that is correct. Uh, so the the strat is generally to get two doubles and then four Nail hits. Muthpip, I'm not sure if they didn't know it or if they felt they couldn't execute with the amount of soul they had and tried a different route. Um, but still, it wasn't horribly slow. Yeah, it was still decent. And Kali oh. with a 1939, 40, 1940 Shade Soul. About 2 minutes and 40 seconds, it seems. Yeah, it looks like she just wants to be very careful here. Yeah, with almost a 3 minute difference. Uh, you really don't want to die if you have want any hope in coming back. At this point, it's kind of looking. Oh, that was a really quick soul master kill. I apologize, I should have uh, been commenting on that one. Yeah, he got the really good um, the orb orb attack where he just walks really slowly. Very good opportunity to get two doubles on him. Yeah. Oh, oh Kali just getting terrible <laughs> RNG. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Oh, okay. Getting the safety lever just in case it looks like. Muppet also having a really good second phase, defeating the Soul Master fairly quickly. I don't believe that is the quickest strategy, but it's definitely the safest. Uh, and at full health, honestly, you couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah, 
Uh, ooh, interesting. Hitting that soul vial there. Do you know if Kali knows the quick kill? I'm not sure. I know she's been practicing some bosses lately, but I guess uh, Soul Master might not be one of them. Hmm. Understandable. Definitely a slower fight compared to what Mudpip had. The RNG wasn't quite as good. Double? Oh, no, never mind. Still fine. Yeah, still a good fight. Mudpip has 260 Geo leaving Soul Sanctum. They're going to need about 40 more to be able to purchase the King Station Stag that we're going to have to get. Uh, there's a couple places to farm it, uh, so it shouldn't be an issue. And after that, we don't need to collect any Geo. It all comes uh, gifted to us at a nice chest after defeating a certain boss. Looks like Kali had a pretty decent second phase there. She's doing the, uh, the up slash strat. Oh, nice. So it's about a 2 minute and 12, 14 second difference between the two runners. It's it's looking a little uh, questionable if Kali's going to be able to catch up. However, we have a very scary part of the race coming up, the Sea Peaks part. Uh, even the most experienced runners can die there with how uh, rough the cycles can be. Uh, so oh, it is very much big damage there. No, definitely not. You need all the health you can get. This is a very long um, split. Oh Ooh. no. At least as the 300 Geo for King Station. Yes. Oh. Looks like Colleen missed the lever there, had to climb back up. Unfortunately. Oh my goodness. Oh, please don't. Okay. Oh man. Yeah, those big guys do two masks of health with their swipes of the down. So if Mudpip got hit by it, they would have been dead, which would not be fun. Oh, Kali saving the grub. Let's go. <laughs> oh, Kali already has 300, over 300 Geo. <laughs> oh, nice. She has so much. I guess that's what the early farming's for. She did get quite a bit from, uh, like, she killed the sentries in the dark room. Um, True. Killed the full twister and sanctum and just a bunch of other stuff, so I guess it makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. I wonder if she realizes that, because she doesn't have to collect any here. She does. Alright, cool. Yeah. And Mudpip, uh, now that we have Desolate Dive, we're going to go over to Sea Peaks. We're going to use that ability to gain ourselves access. Unlike a lot of other categories, where we buy Lantern and go through the dark room. Hi, Myla. Bye, Myla. Boom, and then we'll just drop right down, and we can say hello to Sea Peaks. There's the, quite a number of interesting uh, movement tech in this area. The first one right now being a pogo off this lantern, which Mudflip executes beautifully. Oh, and really? Do we, fog axe? do we get a fog axe? Oh, oh. No. Big sad. No content here, everyone. Just 
you know, there's a lot of neat movement in this area. Hard to uh, explain it all, but it's just a lot of different wall jumps and pogos. It's all fun to watch. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, the, the big thing in this uh, the sequence of the run is there are a lot of places where you can take damage really easily and a lot of places where um, you want to take damage intentionally so your health bar can go to zero really, really quick. Yeah, indeed. Mugpip took the safe um, wait there, just waiting for a few seconds for the laser to pass. He, I think he might know he's ahead, so he's taking a couple of safer strats, and very commendable. Unrespectable, even. Yeah. Ooh. Jazz slash storage? Oh, uh, it doesn't oh. quite get it. That's a fun one to get. It's actually kind of tricky to get. You need to uh, let go of the nail first before you uh, press the inventory button. This isn't always that easy to do when you're trying to dash and run around at the same time. Indeed. Very nice cycle room from Mudpit. We're also not going to see a Pogax from Kali either. Under hey. Woo! <laughs> Let's go. And we've obtained the Crystal Heart on Mudpip's side. A very useful ability that allows us to fly across long distances. Very health fairly. going into this next part is pretty comfy. Very feeling fine. I wonder what version of the dark room Mud Pip's gonna go for. Would you like to explain them? Oh no, Kali. Uh, yeah. So because we don't get lantern in this category, we have to go through. A couple dark rooms. This is the. This is one of them. Um, there are quite a few ways you can get through it. You can just do a whole bunch of dashes, or you can do a bunch of crystal dashes. So we'll have to see what Mudpip does. Skips oh, it doesn't save the, the grub. grub. Excuse Evil. me. It saves zero seconds. Not saving that grub. All right. So it looks like he's doing the C dash. Yeah. yeah. Very understandable. Makes it through quite well. Call it's it quite a bit for... slower, but um, a lot safer. I was about to say, Kali was going for a damage less cycle, however. Ooh. I'm oh, not sure if she... yeah, Kali does not do under plat. Good. <laughs> at that health, it's scary. Plus, <laughs> how far behind you are, it's not worth it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we're coming up to an interesting trick here. We're gonna hit this thing seven times, so we're gonna go over to the left. Clear the way. We're gonna charge up a dash slash, and we're gonna hit it the eighth time with the dash slash. We're gonna slide right over and then land in the spikes here. They'll respawn us over here. However, we'll have early control while the game gives us desolate dive. Sorry, descending dark, uh, and we can just fly out without having to wait those precious seconds while collecting it. And then we'll fall down here. <laughs> Meanwhile, I know, Kali, uh, so, Kali was practicing the dark room the other day, so she might Ooh. do the dashes. That's exciting. You say it's a grub. Good. Thank goodness. Kali has not turned to the evil side. Ooh, pretty. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. oh. Almost saved it, too. Well, while Kali is making her way through the dark room, uh, Mudpip has made it to the dream world. Uh, I love the dream world in all skills because as soon as uh, the moth here appears, she makes some platforms. Get the there hop we go. up and... Oh, very well done on Kali's end. 
I'm going to have to hop up them until about right here, where we turn around, get on this roof, charge up a sea dash, and we just fly across, so you can catch up to the moth, and pass her a little bit. We make it to here, and we just Underplat. basically... Woohoo! Skip the entire stage with the sea dash, very fun. And Kali is going to be doing the same trick as earlier Lee mentioned. <coughs> there we go. Oh, okay. I just realized that uh, my arm is bleeding, so I'm gonna go get a bandage really quick. <laughs> Hmm, good idea. Oh, we'll be um, right back. <laughs> okay. Good to take care of that. Um well we'll see Kali going up to Dream World following in Mudpip's steps. Did Mudpip get an infinite load? Oh no, okay. That was a little scary. Uh but Mudpip is now oh getting lost in the dark room a little bit, but that's okay. Going up to see the Watcher Knights here. Uh, very difficult fight in any percent. A little bit easier now in all skills. Because um, we have Descending Dark. And with the iframes and damage, it's pretty um, effective to survive. Bring down this lantern. Alright, I am back. How, how bad is the bleed? <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay. I don't think I should bleed out. I think I should be fine. Alright, good, good. And then it's just one, two, three desolate dives, and that destroys the Watcher Knights. Hopefully we get some good RNG on Muppet's side. Misses the first dream now. One, two, oh! Very nice. Good both. One nail kills the second one. Some pretty good RNG, could have been worse, could have been better, but hey. Let's see how it deals with these two now, gets hit once. Decides to deal with the left one before dealing with the right one, and oh, very clean fight. That was really good RNG. It was. Yeah, a lot of the times they can roll away or jump away, uh, and it's really frustrating. You want them to stay together so you can use your desolate dive on them over and over again. And luckily, they stayed together for Mud Pip this time. Holly did do underplat, by the way. Woo! Let's go. Oh, getting lost in the dark. Oh, no, never mind. She's good, she's good. Yeah, a lot of the bosses uh, in this in this category aren't particularly difficult. It's just really how well you adapt to the RNG that they give you. Ooh. Missed the Shade Soul, so she has to smack the roof like four times. Oh, tries to charge up the nail art, but cancels. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Lauren at a 30.57. Deals with the first one quite well. He's moving over to the second two now. Let's hope they don't roll away. Oh. Unfortunately, that last one was jumping. Oh, and missed a lot of the damage. It has Ooh, to be two yeah. shade souls. Ooh, Kali take a lot of damage here. Oh, oh no. no, she didn't get the soul. You got this, Kali. Oh! Oh! Okay. <laughs> oh, oh no! no. Alright, Kali's gonna have to fight the Watcher Knights again, respawning at the bench here. Uh, Mudpip is on his way to get his most tier. There's a few very interesting skips on the way. Spike, a spike tunnel skip and two acid skips. Uh, we got to fall down a little bit first off, but... Uh, it's very fun to watch these skips if you ask me. Yeah, like, Taking the safety bench. 
Like I was saying earlier, you know, this Watch Knights isn't a particularly hard fight, but if they give you, you know, bad RNG, then then you can start to lose health really fast. For sure. When they're rolling around all over the place, they would not sit still for Kali. Yeah, you hate like... to see it. Kali has been kind of getting the bad end of RNG this race, while Mudpip's been getting the good end. For sure, for sure, yeah. But hopefully Kali will be able to execute a little better. A little early on the Dream Mail, not getting the three full soul you really want here. And the Watch of Night uh, rolls away and jumps back. Not getting any nail slashes from that one guy there. But oh well. And here is the spike tunnel from that pip. Interesting oh. way of doing it. Oh, okay. executes, however. I had not seen that before. I believe that's actually the uh, original way of doing mm. the spike tunnel before the other strats were discovered. Interesting. Enough soul. Looks the warrant just not there in here. Oh, it was just way yeah, up. Neither of them were there. Very <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Looking for the perfect spot to be able to hold the C dash down and go. Makes it up. Perfect, Very nice. perfect. And we'll be seeing an early control here. When the warmth comes down, it's going to hit Mud Pip during this animation, and we'll be able to move early through while it's giving us his boost here. A very fun trick. I am excited. Uh, Kali and I are the only runners that do the dash slash strat for the first spike tunnel skip. Oh, yeah. Uh, and in my race, I got it my second try. So Kali needs to one up me by doing it first try. So. Oh, let's hope, let's hope that happens. Be paying close attention to what she does here. <laughs> And it seems Kali did deal with the Watcher Knights very well. Very good. Yeah. This is the RNG bridge. Mud Pip gets her, his dash cancelled, unfortunately. We do get to take a bench right up here, though, so it doesn't matter mm. too much. With the four minute differential, I'm not entirely sure how Kali's gonna be able to catch up, especially with how Mudpip is playing. There is definitely still potential to mess up and die in this run, uh, but even with one death, I'm not entirely sure if that will be enough for Kali to catch up. Um, if Mudpip just has a nice safe run from here on out, I believe they will win. However, it's still very much possible for that to not happen and Kali to catch up. Yeah. Some difficult splits coming up here. Alright, Kali just collecting some Geo. She's got a, she's got a lot of Geo. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if she plans on buying anything extra. Alright, come on, Kali. Oh, oh chest misses it. Darn. Oh, and again. Oh no. Too high. This is not good. Yeah, she needs to heal a few times. Oh, uh, Mudpip is coming up to the Broken Vessel fight here. There oh, we there go. She okay. What we really want to see is this move right here, the headbang move on Broken Vessel. My pip should just be diving away. It gets a Stagger just as it ends very well. And Kali seems to have done the acid skips both times successfully. And that was a quick fight from my pick. Kali 
they're getting the early control. Very well. Done. Ooh, it falls into the acid. Oh Can't no. Yeah, that's very up. easy to do. Ah, okay. But Pip is collecting his wings here. Which gives us all of our movement abilities. Let's see if Kali will have to cancel her C dash across the RNG bridge. She does oh, not love it. you. A bit now coming up on probably the hardest boss in the run, Hornet 2. Definitely. We've seen quite a few deaths to her already in this tournament, so very possible that he could die to her. According to Monster Stats of the Year, Hornet 2 has taken the lives of the most runners compared to any other uh, enemy in Hollow Knight. At this yeah. tournament, that is. It's not surprising. <laughs> mm hmm. Hopefully, the runners will be able to execute very well, though. Um, some people get good RNG, some people get a bunch of parries, which is the worst RNG you can get. But hey, what comes, comes. Yeah, and the worst thing is that her parries can actually parry spells as well. Mm hmm. It's very bad. Yeah, like you got some special Weaver juice on there or something? How are you blocking shadows? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Riot, lore, please! <laughs> Riot, what? Team Cherry, hold on, I'm playing way too much League of Legends. <laughs> Alright, anyway, back to it. Kali taking a bit of damage in the, um, Moloch room here. Having to heal up. But understandable, it's a difficult place. Very RNG and cycle heavy, so it's hard to master. Will Mudpip take the camp bench? Yes, they are. Yeah. Smart move. Ooh, that was some nice movement from Kali. Breaking the wall there just in case they die, understandable. Nice double. Oh, yeah, blowing a lot of Shade Souls. Ooh, unfortunately... Oh. Staggering the broken vessel as he was going to do his head bang. Not very fun. And we're going to fight Hornet on the pip side. Kali gets another head bang. One pair of Hornets. Ooh, Mud Pip is missing a lot of nail hits here. Hornet is just jumping all around. Kali has successfully defeated the broken vessel. Hornet is not giving very many chances for Mudkip to hit her. Oh my goodness. Jumping around like crazy, giving a lot of parries and swinging her string around. Oh, yep, there's, there it is. Blocked in the no. corner as Hornet parries the Shade Soul. Oh my goodness. I was like three parries in a row or something. This is ridiculous. Very good D die there. Just keeping pretty high health though. It's very good in a Hornet fight. Anything can go wrong at any point. Here we go. Very well done by Mudpip. Laugh the Newfie Needle, as Hornet says. <laughs> Definitely don't want to see that many parries. That was pretty unfortunate. Mm-hmm. 
Maybe it'll be the opposite. Uh, since Mudpit got some bad RNG, maybe Kali will get some good RNG. Like how it's been, Kali gets the bad RNG, Mudpit gets the good. Yeah, she did good. save a few grubs, so... Yeah. Karma's on our side, that's true. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Does not go invisible. Good, good, good. Now that Mudpip has defeated Hornet, collected the King's Brand, we're going to go on our way to collect um, the second nail art in the game, Cyclone Slash. This is what's probably considered to be the most boring split in the game. It's just a lot of awkward movements. So, we're probably going to focus on Kali for a little bit here as she comes up to fight Hornet 2. Do you think Kali's going to take the campaign? Uh, yeah, I'd assume so. She seems to be playing, like, pretty safe. So, mm -hmm. not surprised me. Yeah, it's a respectable player. Oh, oh no, okay. Wow. Confidence, I like it. Mopek took a lot of damage coming out of Hornet 2 there. Oh, it's okay though, we're gonna be benching here anyway. Not where oh, Muppet's going. I think going, that was the but... wrong... Yeah. Just to go to. Very oh, easy so... to do. <laughs> Very sensitive. People make that meaning. mistake all the time. Yeah, yeah. Alright, come on, Kali. You got this. Jumping around everywhere, not fun. It's a nice double there, though. Oh, another double. Kali's getting... knows this fight decently well, it looks like. Oh, yeah, look at these doubles. Kali's going off right now. Yeah, I know she's been really focusing on uh, late game. Mm hmm. Doesn't surprise me that this is going. Oh, well, that. I'm not gonna say anything anymore. <laughs> Oh, Perry. Here we go. Opportunity to heal. Yeah, very good. Unfortunately, the doubles have quite slowed down here. Oh, there she goes. Oh, never mind. I thought that was... <laughs> <laughs> it slowed down for a second and I was like, oh, but... Okay, there we that's go. Good. That was a pretty good fight. Yeah, it was fairly quick, all things considered. I think definitely going to be catching up a tiny bit here. Obviously, Muppet's still way in the lead. We're closing the gap just a bit. She didn't take the bench either, so that's quite a bit of time saved. That is true. Muppet collects the Cyclone Slash. Hella Summit. Bam. Finden. Kali is now going to get Cyclone Slash. Mudpip is uh, responding back at Dirtmouth. He's going to go down into Fog Canyon and into the archive. <clears throat> excuse me, archives to fight Umu and collect Monomar. That's the one. Yes. Tentacle Lady. Tentacle. Nice easy <laughs> drop here. There's a few different drops for this screen here that Mumphip's entering in. Uh, um, going for what is technically the slowest, not by a whole mar whole lot though, but definitely the safest and the easiest to get. Oh no, I'm, I'm expecting a bench now from Mudpip. 
Yeah, three health starts to get a little scary. Some people do not like to bench at Malamon, though. Oh, looks like yeah. that is going to have her. Good, good. Hard idea. Mm hmm. Now, I wonder if Mudkip knows the one cycle for Umu. It is a decently recent uh, thing that was discovered. Was it a year ago now? I'm not sure, actually. A bit early on the dream now there. Yeah, it looks like Mudkip does know the setup for one one cycle. Actually, wait, a year? No, not even close. It's been like two or three months, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Baiting Umu up to this platform here. Near the wall, so we can fireball, fireball. One, two, three, four nail heads, fireball, fireball. And that is the one cycle. Good work, Very Monto. Nice. Very well executed. The quickest you can do, Umu, on this category. And now we can collect Miss Tentacle Lady here. Suck up her soul. <laughs> and soon we'll be seeing Kali do the same thing. Do you think Kali's gonna do the same drop that Mutta did? Hopefully a little bit better executed, of course. Uh, yeah, probably. Let's see right here. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, interesting. Hmm. None of them did them did it quite properly, exactly, but still makes it through very well. That's one of the rooms I definitely put off practicing for the longest when I first started running this game. <laughs> Fair enough. I don't know, I find that room quite fun, having to weave through everything. Yeah, when, once you practice it a little bit, it's very fun to do. Mm -hmm. Mudpip is now going for the final nail art of the game, Great Slash. There's Ooh, some fun... The RNG. Oh, let's get Very some nice. nice. Left side climb, interesting. Boomer strats? <laughs> Looks like it. <laughs> uh, is Kali also setting up for one second? Oh, I'm not entirely sure what she's going. Oh, uh, right! She is, yeah. She, there's a... I believe it was Homothity, I think, or Valigna. Valley, yeah. Yeah. It discovered a new kind of one cycle. Kali's going to try to execute that here. Oh and my gosh, it. that's perfect. Wow. That is really cool. Very, very nice. And... It professionally executed as well. We get two different one cycles. Now, if that's not content, I don't know what is. I think Valley actually uh, posted it in the Discord like yesterday too. So that's that's pretty wow. crazy. We're already seeing it in the tournament. That's awesome. Good work, Ollie. Very good work. Yeah. Mud pip. In the Duranda room, Dur Durandu, I forget. Um, gonna fly through. Right, that's a, we... that's actually crazy though. Kali learned this in like in a single day. <laughs> that is crazy. That is insane. 
I mean, maybe it was. It'd be better to put that practice at the early game, but. <laughs> <laughs> that yeah. <laughs> That could but help still, a little bit. It's very good content, I don't blame her. <laughs> Mudpip collects the Great Slash, Gotta which is, it. I believe, here at this point is the virtual end of the run. There's only a few more things left to collect. Um, we just gotta go into Deep Nest. The last little bit, I should say, not the end. Yeah, at this point in the run, we're just kind of running around doing some errands now. Mm-hmm. This is probably the longest split RTA, and probably loadless-wise. Going down through Queen's Gardens into um, Deep Nest to get Hera. Um. Fury of the Fallen is used in the 1xx percent, uh, like 106, 112, 100%. Uh, yeah. It's not quite worth it for these quicker runs where um, you just beat the rhythm so quickly anyway. Oh, Mudpit not having it. Good time yeah. with Sabrina so far. Having to chase the squits or skeets pretty well. Makes it through though. And the routes where you end up fighting uh, False Knight, Hornet 1, and Soul Master at the very beginning, um, those are the routes where people tend to go for free. Fury sometimes, excuse me, because mm -hmm. uh, you end up saving a little bit of time after you finish beating them all up with, or, with Fury. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not very worth it. Mm -hmm. So a friend of mine uh, realized recently, I don't, I don't think they're supposed to be pronounced squits, I think they're supposed to be pronounced skeets, like mosquito. Honestly, I've always just said mosquito. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fair enough. That's basically <laughs> what they are. <laughs> or I guess another name is Bob, apparently. Today I learned. Oh, yeah. Of course. Fighting a whole bunch of Bobs. Okay. Up at baiting the Petra. Oh Ooh, no! That, that is not the thorns you want to hop into. <laughs> so That's the wrong too far thorn. left. <laughs> okay, she gets it the third. He gets it the third time. Yeah, just to explain that a little more. The hazard respawn box is a little broken. Uh, in that part, so we intentionally drop into the thorns there, so we don't have to go around. Cannot be done in current patch. Yeah, correct. Canceling too early there, having the moss ball fly into him. Makes it through unscathed pretty much otherwise. Gonna fill up on soul here. Is. Possibly heal. Yeah. Yeah, smart decision. We're coming up onto a fairly scary part of the run, the uh, deepness dark rooms. So being full health and soul is definitely wanted. So full soul, I believe, is required for something. Wow, that was almost perfect by Kali. Yeah, she's really been practicing late game. 
Yeah, definitely. Psych this impressive. is this is yeah. Kali's definitely been practicing late game. Yeah, I mean with how much early game practice she's done, I would almost say it's probably time to just do runs. To have oh that no. Player. Where did he respawn? Oh, he had to. Oh, made it to the bottom of that one room. Hit the spikes, I assume, and. Yeah, dashed right into him. Oh, that is rough. That's okay, though. D Muppip knows what he's doing. Gonna yeah. make it through. So, what Team Cherry did um, for these dark rooms. No! Oh, not again. <laughs> um. So typically, if you hit the spikes there and you have lantern, you'll spawn nearby. But Team Cherry doesn't want people to get lost, so if you don't have lantern while you're in these rooms and you hit a spike, you spawn all the way at the beginning. Um, which is great for people who are doing like casual playthroughs, but not so great for speedrunners. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gets the hazard respawn first try. Alright, Mud oh. Pit made it through. <clears throat> Alright. You know, at this point, perhaps a death to say sibling climb could catch Kali up. Mud Pit seems to know the early game and mid game a bit better than the late game. As yeah, that's what it looks like. Or perhaps it's just some dark room fumbles. But then again, Kali has made up some significant time. Yeah. Well, Unfortunately, maybe... their their timers are still piecing, so yeah, not as close as it seems. Season Bud Pip has a bit longer load times than Kali. I think that's due to the quality of his computer not being quite as good as Kali's, but that's understandable. Yeah. How oh, he doesn't have any soul. Yeah, no soul to fight the devout. That's really scary. Easy spells. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Here we are going to get the third Dreamer, uh, but our adventure is not quite over. We still have two more abilities left to get, and that will bring us to the Abyss once we have finished collecting arrows. Okay, chat saying Kali's behind by 239. Yeah, so a couple, one or two deaths could definitely yeah. turn this around. Yeah, like maybe um sibling climb and thk once each question mark uh we'll have to see though but it could also do the uh the wasabi night and die saving a grub at the very end oh <laughs> of course <laughs> uh run into a bunch of explody dudes saving the grub but sacrificing your life for it it actually was against Kali too, I believe. Oh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, silly man. <laughs> That's content right there, though. Absolutely. The last geo we spend is right here. The Watch and Ice Chest give us everything we need up until here, where we buy this last stag station and make our way. Kali does have enough soul to be able to get the Hera here. Excuse me. <sighs> Kill of the Bell. Are we gonna get a swag door? Hope so. Ah, oh, boo! Absolutely no swag, swag door. door. The long 
longest fall cancels a bit early. However, gets the thing, that's fine. Yeah, Kali with all these cyclone drops, this is quite impressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if she practices other slits just as much, I definitely has a potential for an incredibly low time. 52, yeah, sure. I'd say. For if, if a deathless. Maybe not quite that much, maybe like a 53, 54. But there's some mega potential for sure. Mudpip gonna fly over the Lake of Void uh, to get the second to last skill in the game, the Shade Cloak. Looked like he there. took the sibling climb pretty slow, but nice mm -hmm. and safe. Yeah, full health. So. There's an interesting trick here. It doesn't save any time RTA, but you quit out here, and because of all the loads it causes, uh, it saves about 10 seconds in-game time. About 10 seconds we can't really spare. So we're gonna we're gonna just cut him out. Holly going for the swag door, respect. Respect, let's go. Mudpip doing well. Just wish Swag Pip showed up, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, circuits. That's really funny. <laughs> uh, call Sw Swagly? Um, never mind. <laughs> Swag Kali did indeed show up, though. Definitely a faster uh, sibling climb. Yeah, that was really good. I blinked and I missed it, honestly. Oop. And here, Muppet's flying to the left side of Abyss, going to get the final skill of the game. Howling Wraiths. Uh, Bishri. Yes, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we do use Howling Wraiths to get a Bishri, though. Yes, thank you. I, uh, I always forget, like, the spells. I don't know why. I always mix them up. Anyway. Um, but now that we've collected a Bishri, we're going to, uh, go in the game here. We still have one more very fun part though, Abyss Climb coming up right now. Hopefully Mudpip will be able to, uh, to execute beautifully. Ooh. Oh no. Oh Ooh, no. no. <laughs> Going a bit safer route, understandable. Healing up. Ooh. Oh my goodness, oh no. Yeah, similar to Dark Rooms, the uh, hazard response for Abyss Climb are very, very unforgiving. Yeah. It's because we don't cross any respawn areas because of the awkward ways we go. But... Triple spot. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, yes. Please heal. <laughs> okay. You got this mudpip. You got time. Actually, their... Their times are kind of starting to whittle down. They're only a minute apart right now. Well, a, a minute 30, probably. That's... yeah, that's a lot of time made up. Yeah. Definitely one more death, or a death at all for mudpip, and Kaldi could catch up. Alright, we, we made we it. Are, yeah, we made it. We are coming up to now the final stretch of the game, fighting the final boss. Once that happens, the run will be over. Hopefully, Mudpip will be able to end strong.
Yeah, it looks like Kali's going a lot safer. Mm hmm. Oh, and she. Ah, that's so frustrating. Void Soul is a charm, not a skill. Makes herself up, or gets herself up, though, much quicker than Mud Pip did. Kali really wants full soul going into the fight, then. Mm hmm. I assume she takes a bench. Um, maybe. I mean, with that, a bunch of soul, you could just heal one, too. You could also do that, yeah. Mud Pip did take a bench. Mm. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty low, so. Yeah, very understandable. <laughs> I love this room. You just fly across and then the white things sort of show up and on the floor underneath you also lights up at some point. It's really fun. Yeah. Nice. That room is very well done visually. Mm -hmm. But here we are. Uh, smack these four chains a few times. And we are fighting the final boss, the last challenge of the all still run. Oh, would you look at that? Um, Kali's actually winning. She's only been racing for 25 seconds. <laughs> yeah, so the name of the game for THK is basically just Spam Abyss Streak. Um, just tons of damage. And you can sort of tell that it's should be used for enemies in the air, but it just does so much damage that we choose to mm. right up in THK's big head and use it on him. Muppet's having a little bit rough go of it. One health. Oh no. Oh, gets to the self-harm phase though. Going to be able to heal up pretty well. Ooh, does not heal. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my pip. Oh, oh, my pip. Okay. 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 No! Oh, no! Dash right into the THK. That's going to be an unfortunate death. Mudpip is still technically ahead, however. Does not go for his shade. What? Going to only have two soul for this fight. Oh, okay. This is exciting. Oh, my goodness. This is... This is content, if ever content existed. Uh, Mud, Kali, though the fights are pretty synchronized right now, Kali still has about a minute of time. Um... Oh, Kali, don't die too. Oh, gosh. This is so, this is intense, people. This is very intense. If Mudpip can win this fight, he will still come out victorious in this race. Made it to the point where he made it before. All much right. for this time. Kali's done. Kali has finished. Oh, Kali, playing with our hearts there. <laughs> GG for Kali. Mudpip looking like they're gonna finish up fairly strong too. Coming to the second scream. Second horn face, I should say. Oh, no, never mind. Mud pips. Okay. Alright, that's GG. Yep. GG to both racers. It's looking like Mud Pip's gonna come at about just under a minute ahead. That is crazy. I think Polly was actually like four minutes behind at one point or something. Yeah, that's actually really crazy. <laughs> All right, we will try to get the runners in here shortly. I'll mark them as done. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Good idea. Okay, that should have invited them both. Uh, if the runners did not get an invitation, I guess we can invite them manually.
Uh, okay, we have Mud Pip in the, the channel. Hopefully, Kali can get over here soon. Mm hmm. <clears throat> uh, if anyone in the chat has any questions for the two runners, type them in and I'll read them out for them. Kali really quick. Here she is. Alright. They should be coming up soon then. I'm about to join. Maybe the all right. There's one now. We just need Kali. Hello, Mud Pip. Congratulations on your. There win. we go. Whoa. GG's Mud Pip. Well played. GG's. Oh, that's a fan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. So yeah, that was quite. Oh, I see you got some golds there, Kali. I golded Umu. <laughs> hey. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. We're... Everybody was really, uh, really excited in chat when they saw the Umu one cycle. Yeah, I was uh, pretty happy. Very with interesting that. strategy. It's the first one cycle I've gotten in a run. The same for me. That's fantastic. Congratulations, Muppet. You ran very well. You earned that win of yours. Um... Thank you. Uh, so I guess, uh, Kali, so yeah, uh, do you want to talk about uh, the Umu fight some more and what exactly you were doing? Um, the Umu fight is a strategy that Valley posted in the Discord yesterday. Um, so it's based on the current patch setup. So you D-Dark and then you have to get at least two of your Shade Souls to double. Um, it's a little more lenient on inputs than the traditional one cycle. Um, it took me maybe an hour to get it down to get the first one cycle and then... Like from there, it just got you. Just gotta get your D dark situated perfectly, and then you should be fine. Okay, very That's nice. Good. Took an hour to learn. It's very impressive. Um, Neri Blueberry asks um, both of the runners, "Do you guys know how cute you are?" <laughs> <laughs> Not as cute as Chat. <laughs> that is true. Good response. Um. So, Kali, your late game seemed to be pretty good there compared to your early. Yeah, my early game definitely leaves a lot to be desired. Um, also, nerves played a big part in my early game. Mm -hmm. um, kind of even out a little bit in late game. Hornet That's got a little sketchy. Hornet 2 was a little more sketchy than I like it to be. Yeah, um, pretty scary. But after the death to watch your nights, I figured that was probably it. So I evened out a little bit more. That's understandable. Yeah, nervous. Kali, you're going the wrong way. You need to go uh, towards Myla. <laughs> we don't kill Myla here. <laughs> Very uh, passive. Not passive. That's not the right word. Pro life. No. <laughs> Hold on. Let me take that one back right now. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, uh, uh, gosh. Any uh, anything you either you want to comment about your race in specific that you did good or bad? I smell some of this climb miles in my direction. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was very unfortunate. That was looking like a, a me abyss climb right there. That's that was not not very unfortunate. Um, hazard respawns are definitely very unforgiving the abyss climb yeah they are they're pretty they're pretty bad i need to il that section again myself too mm -hmm. i mean insomnia says the more you il it the worse it gets so <laughs> i feel that also fair <laughs> um that's kind of what happened to me on the spike tunnel was i had run that a bunch right before the race and then yeah. it, it all went fine before the race and then of course the race time comes and you can't get it 
to save your life. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah. That, yeah. That is how it goes. Uh, what do you guys, I guess started with Mud Pip, what do you think was, um, what were you happy with in the run? What, what, did you get any golds at all? Uh, I got a, quite a few golds. Um, I used the traditional strat for Rimu one cycle, but that was the first one cycle that I also pulled off in run. Hey! Yay, oh, very nice. Congrats! Yeah, it looked very good. We were very excited for it when it happened. <laughs> uh, Carl? yeah, then I guess same for you, Kali. Are um, all those um, purples there your golds, my pip? Uh, yeah. I see. Oh, those are those are a lot of golds then. <laughs> oh, nice. Some of them are just from like not having any uh, of BB since I added those golds, but yeah. Right. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Sorry to interrupt though, Kali. Anything you're proud of? Um, mostly the Umu. Um, my Cyclone slash golded by like half a second, and mm. so did my Shade Cloak. Nice. Um, that was a really so quick nice. sibling climb. Yeah, that was one of my better sibling climbs. It was, I think, it ended up being. I think it was about half a second. Nice. Was that gold? So I kept up to point out those uh, awesome cyclone drops that you showed for us. I do enjoy the cyclone drops. Um, Sour taught me like two cyclone drops when he was helping me with some ILs. And then from there on, I just like every cyclone drop I can, I'll add in. There's a yeah. couple I did do in this run, but I really love the cyclone drops. <laughs> That's great. It was very unfortunate that uh, that Bob was being so mean to you at the very beginning of the run. Yeah, that was pretty tilting. Pretty rusty. But you did make up a lot of time, you know, you ended up uh, within a minute of Mud Pip at the very end. So mm -hmm. that really shows, you know, just how much you've been practicing late game, which I think is great. Yeah, if I... I need to get my early game straightened out, and then I'd be alright. Yeah, what's I, I have, like, 40 seconds of time saved just by the time I get to Claw. Wow. Um, again, the the E-Pogo is another one that I had run right before the race. Got it down first try with the E-Pogo and the Double Dash Mantis Pogo, and then in the race, no luck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you got a very good time on your hands once you wired out your early game. Because your late game is already very impressive. I'm thinking maybe like a 54? Um, I'd say my goal right now... Well, my original goal was just sub-hour. Um, I've got a 58 now. I'd say I'd want to get a 56 before I completely leave the category. Right, right. Um, okay. my, some of the best is a 54 right now, though. Yeah, fair enough. They sound like a plan. Um, so what do you guys think you need to practice, starting with uh, Mud Pit? Late game a lot. Uh, yeah. Any particular splits? Probably getting consistent, more consistent at one cycle. Uh, the Abyss, uh, pretty much the whole Abyss. Um, movement throughout, like, uh, King's Brand to Umu. Okay. Fair. Uh, Kali? Um, definitely early game. I'd say the first four splits probably the most. Um, I also need to get a better hopper strat. Because I get hit Oh, a yeah. Hmm. You both had a little bit of a scary hopper section, I think. Mud yeah, Mudpip, you were, uh, I almost had a heart attack there. <laughs> <laughs> That's very scary. <laughs> <laughs> um all right do we have any other questions from chat yeah. any final comments from the racers oh chat saying you need to practice a uh, swag door mud pip that is yeah uh, yes i do <laughs> top priority that something i need to practice <laughs> um all right uh do you guys have anything else to say I don't think so. No. GG's my right. Thanks. Thanks for comms. Thanks, chat. GG's. Yeah, GG's, GGs to you both. Answer. Congrats yes. to Mud Pip on the win. For um, sure. Yeah, this was great. I think tomorrow and Sunday we still have I think like five or six races left, so we still have plenty of stuff to watch. Everybody should definitely 
stick around and watch those tomorrow. It should be a lot of fun. For uh, sure. And yeah, thanks to everyone for stopping by. We all hope you enjoyed the content.